and about in your garden at the moment. You never know, one of us could be popping up behind a tree to surprise you with a Blue Peter badge. I'm in Great Wakering outside the house of a young lady called Clarice who sent us this email. Basically it tells us that her mum and dad used to work for the National Fox Welfare Society and they got a rescue fox called Barney who rejected all attempts to be returned to the wild. So now the family have got a pet fox. They should all be in there and we loved the email so much. We thought we'd come along, visit Barney and Clarice and give them a badge. So here goes. Hi, Clarice. Oh, hi. Are you a bit in shock? You're on the telly right now as we speak, and we loved the email that you sent us about Barney. So we thought we'd come and give you a Blue Peter badge, but I would love to see Barney as well. Is it all right if I come in yeah. and have a little visit? He's in the garden, isn't he? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go and find him, yeah? yeah. Cheers. Right, well, we're in the garden now and I've met the whole family. So let me introduce you. We've got Mum, Dad, Barney, the newest recruit. And Clarice has reliably informed me that he likes eating raisins. So we've got a plate of raisins here as well. So can I try and feed him? Will he eat it from just off this plate? We should do. Okay, let's give it a go. Look, Barney. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, they're nice, tasty. It's lovely to have come here and met you. And you never know, you might get a pet fox. Would you recommend it? Um, no. No. Foxes are not domestic animals, they're wild. OK, so don't try this at home. Foxes do not make good pets. But one thing you can try is sending us an email, like Clarice did, or maybe a letter or a picture. And you never know, we could be visiting your house and giving you a Blue Peter badge. That's all we've got time for today. But if you're one of the 37,100...